Los Caminos Reales translates directly as Royal Way or King's Highway, which distinguishes it from an ordinary camino or road. Nowadays, bits and pieces of the old King's Highways manifest as modern highways, back roads, or even hiking trails, but Los Caminos Reales in the 18th century were the threads of civilization. Steeped in history, they are among the oldest and most significant routes in Texas. A network of roads grew from the pathways marched by Spanish missionaries and soldiers on behalf of the king, sometimes following thousand-year-old Indian trails or migratory routes trampled by animals for millennia. And Los Caminos Reales were born. The Caminos navigated all the way from the Spanish capital in Mexico into what was then the wilderness of the northern provinces, linking together sovereign interests and creating a thoroughfare for immigration, trade, and commerce. There are two officially designated Caminos Reales in Texas. El Camino Real de Tierra Adentro, or the Royal Road of the Interior, is the historic trail that extends northward from Mexico City and crosses Texas at El Paso on the way to Santa Fe, New Mexico. However, El Camino Real de los Texas is truly the Royal Road of Texas. Originating in Mexico City, it becomes the east-west artery that crosses Texas from the Rio Grande to today's Louisiana. Settlers and explorers on the Camino often altered their path along the way in response to weather, conflict with Native Americans, and other undesirable circumstances, creating alternate routes for crossing the vastness of Texas. Today, those same roads link many Texas towns that exist as a result of the original settlers' determination to live in the pathway of the king.